So I want to go over pump and dumps, my strategy to how I play them, and how to find them on stock twits specifically. So that first of all, let's go over what a pump and dump is. It's a scheme that attempts to boost the price of a stock through recommendations based on false, misleading, or greatly exaggerated statements. The perpetrators of this scheme already have an established position in the company stock and sell their position after the hype has led to a higher share price. This practice is illegal based on security law and can lead to heavy fines, right? So I also want to be clear. Some people say the whole market's a pump and dump. Or a pump. And I almost I, I have to agree. Seeing what the feds are doing. So I'm not even morally judging these people. I'm just being very transparent of what's going on and how to play it to save people at first because this you got uh, the beginning traders are always the victims right so I want to go over um, the top 10 people you don't want to follow and I, and there's also a there's a trend it's not that every one of these people is a pump around I'll go over this some of them will just have a pump effect because they have so many people following them their stock whatever they recommend will get pumped based off the people chasing right so I I'm not judging them some people will be mad I don't give a fuck right so first of all we go with uh, Lion Master biggest pumper on here right and we're gonna go over specifically how they pump Mr. Investor huge pumper S stock authority pumps ultra call Michael Hunt reform they all pump together I call them team pump they all three will re recommend the same stocks all day at a damn near the same time. Get out on top. So all these guys, right? Cam the man, I would say, is probably the most uh, honest one. But he has uh, so many followers. He'll re recommend a stock and it will just be such an overreaction. You know, it's worth noting you have to, uh, you can't chase. So you can't chase something and blindly not know that it was one of his recommendations. So it's worth following him, right? So let's go over specifically. I want to start off with the Lion Master, what he does here. All right, so check this out. What they do is they find a stock that has very low float because it's uh, easy to manipulate. And then on top of that, they find a low float with no volume, so it's even easier to manipulate. So you see here, he pops in at 31 not 31 minutes but at, on BBGI he comes in on his first comment in here this company is two times bigger in African American radios than a similar stock that ran a bunch so he's trying to siphon the momentum off of it he says we could see ten dollars today so it instantly goes from 260 to five dollars nearly off this one post right look at the volume beforehand and look at it right when he posts so he loads, 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 posts that, sells here. Right? So, uh, so I mean, if you see this thing, I mean, the only way you could, if you see he posted this, right? The minute it goes from 260, it's going to jump up, right? There's a very small window of opportunity where you want to get out. You do not want to start loading up here and being, uh, it's not worth the risk and reward see the downside so as we uh, look back since that look it's 386 so ideally it's, it's back to around here so it's holding up a little bit people will chase the stocks afterwards they're holding the bag up at this five area they're averaged down for a while but ultimately this will go back down so this was most uh, most one of the most recent ones another example for he, he's pumped a lot of stocks recently semi See what I'm saying? He, I tell you, it's about 360. He posted it instantly, jumps to 390. I'm talking, I posted this probably as 20 seconds after he did. He threw a $10 price target on a sub $4 stock. Two days later, here he's bragging. Do your own homework. I sold CEMI shares from 360 to, to 420 the other day. So he's pretty much admitting he loaded at 360, posted it, and that was pretty much the high. He got out left all everyone with the bag that's what they're doing here so if you there's a very small win, window opportunity like I said 360 posted and it jumped instantly to 390 so maybe you could get in at 390 
once it breaks four, you put your stop loss at the four and try to ride it to that 420 with them. But it's uh, it's more of a sure shot is a short in the top once it shows weakness. That's what I prefer to play. I like to catch both sides if I can. But here's showing you how they do, they've been doing this for a long time. In 2008, he's saying, as any trader that's traded a few years, you used to know how ridiculous this is. This is 11 cent stock. He's saying this stock could reach thirty dollars. And on top of that, he's saying Amazon's gonna buy Movie Pass. I mean, so you shoot a crazy price target on a on a low, you know, a low price stock, and then you get out on top. That's what they they're doing here. So uh, let's go over Michael Hunt. He's he's probably the worst one, damn near on here too, right there with Lion Master. So he'll come in on stock the same way. This is his first post. Load in under seventy. This green candle is solely off his post. They'll keep pounding the tables on these things and act like the price is organic. So boom, he posts that. Five minutes later, he posts that. Setting it up for a monster move. Violence set to ensue here. So they just be really exaggerate. They shoot crazy price targets. He got in probably at 69. He's going to get out at 74. So a lot of people say, oh, they're just trading smart. But they're using their uh, followers to a force price movement. That's where it's a pump. So every once in a while, they'll get lucky. I think there was actually news on this play. And uh, unfortunately, it had already sold off to 70. And so when it, uh, the news actually came, which he didn't know was actually coming, you have resistance at 75 and ultimately failed there. So this is what my my least favorite part about the pumps is if you're in and you're in before the crowd on a good play that you know something's coming sometimes they'll pump it beforehand and build resistance and kill natural price movements that would uh sometimes be a lot stronger than the pump was so that always kills me so that's the only thing that really bothers me so other it does provide easy opportunity and volatility if you're really aware and paying attention on these so here's another one that's funny he, he pumped this I mean I told you guys at like 9 on here that he's gonna pump this it goes from 9 to 12 based off his pumps and after it holds for about what these are 5 minute candles so it holds for 5 10 you know 30 minutes 40 minutes he starts saying you have to be impressed how well this is holding up right look at it an hour later so this is a clear pump and dump and a lot of times the pump and dump will actually uh, dump harder than where it came from because there's so many people selling everyone that just bought the people that bought down here got out on top and everyone that bought on the way out that didn't sell and take profits is now uh, gonna quickly dump in this quick time frame and no one's gonna uh, be waiting to uh, buy the bottom right away so sometimes look nine dollars and then it hits 820 or actually almost eight so this specific play i remember i went long as soon as i seen him pumping it right short on the top i covered a little early and then there's another opportunity that doesn't show on this chart but once it goes once something is goes lower than it actually started at in the beginning of the pump that provides the opportunity on the bounce because all of these people that are now holding these bags will uh, average down so I think I got in about eight. I sat there really uh, vigilantly watching the uh, ask and the bid, and I got in at eight thirty. Then I set my thing at nine, got out instantly. I mean that's seventy cents a share. So I'm talking in, in about a couple minutes, just off the quick bounce. So that's the third opportunity on a, a pump and dump. The pump on the upside the dump and then the, the bounce but you got to be quick on that bounce to take profits so you don't want to be uh, up here holding bags with these guys if it keeps coming down and holding right plus it was off the 200 SMA but besides the point let's check this so here's D man this guy he's like kind of like can the man where he he's a good trader I'm not saying he's not they didn't get them they didn't get a big following making bad calls right but it, his his uh calls have a pumping effect because uh, he has so many damn people that chase him plus he does manipulate stuff so here we go same thing where he loads this bottom right here there's really no sign of of uh, 
any bottom or anything. But he says, next penny retail to bounce, in my opinion. Then post uh, all, a bunch of other stocks that have recently ran. So he's trying to get the momentum from them, right? Five minutes later, people chase his thing. He says, volume runner here. While the only reason volume is coming is comes from this post, right? So he's built volume in. Now he's reposting. Two minutes later, he's saying 30 cents next. As low as is going to bounce 20% off it because he wants it to, right? So has anyone played that? We look back at it. I mean... So that that's this, right? He forces the uh, the upside right here right back to where it comes from. So it's a perfect example of a, uh, you know, on a penny play where you just scalp it for a couple cents on the upside. You know, it's only the only upside is because of a post on stock twit. So it's not really organic price action. So you got to be quick on the price. You got to get out quick. And once it starts showing weaknesses, you can almost. Uh, 90% of the time it's going to bounce right back usually the same day to where it came from if not lower like we discussed so let's go over the next one so this one guys uh, he's probably the, one of the worst ones too with Hunt and Lions and Mr. Investor Pro but he's funny because he's got so many people tricked he posts so many calls he wakes up every day, finds the recent the runner of the day, and then searches his messages for the last one, and then acts like he's held it for the stock for like three or four months. When any experienced trader knows, man, the, every night you hold a penny stock over overnight is just risky. You're risking offering it's bad news. What you know, who knows? It's a bad strategy to hold these and just wait. So what he does, he's infamous. He does the same thing as Lion Master. He finds the, the infamous former runners with the low, most low float, no volume stocks in it. He posts ridiculous price targets and then gets out on his followers and pretends he doesn't. So as you see here, no volume on his, at all on Neuro. It's literally 180. He says, buy Neuro again for the fourth run, fifth run. Looking for a 270 here easy. So he's saying... You're almost you're gonna get a dollar a share, fifty percent ding here, easy, right? And previously he said it's a good load to two ten. So he's saying this is at one. The VWAP is at one eighty. There's no volume. Load this all the way to two ten, everyone. And people will. It's ridiculous. So sure enough, boom, one eighty to two oh six off this one post. And here's a good example of another pumper who uh, who does all the same things as this. He actually, I don't know, I don't know if he's actually confused and sees the volume right here. It says hits my volume scanner, brought a feel here to add here. So sometimes I don't know if he's actually uh, just getting confused. But showing a perfect example how uh, even a more experienced trader like this that pumps himself could possibly be beginning confused and shows you how it could get a rookie you know oh wow volume news is coming nah there's no news it's a Mr. Investor Pro pump so you can be the judge whether or not he's pumping or not but telling everyone to load it up to 210 when it's currently 180 on no volume or no catalyst I mean that's a pump in my opinion so another point is they always work in packs like I talked about team pump one will start it and next will jump in there's only about four people that I think or five that really are, create their own ideas this AC professor D-man authority line master and like hunt who then gets ultra called takes his things and then reform will take his so those five are the uh, base the five best bases of the pumps on here and this happens all day if you go through my uh, stock twits the third week of June 2020 I mean you can see I call out probably 15 to 20 pump and dumps every day clearly document them and you could uh, look back at the charts and see how how uh, exactly how it works to work on your strategy personally because I'm not gonna be on here wasting my time typing this stuff out 
I've just been doing it to pretty much shoot this video because I think this is probably the most helpful thing I could possibly think of for traders on here. Because the one common connection is we're all on this one site, right? You can learn the technicals on a million different other people's YouTubes and whatnot. So here's an example of Canada Man because I, I don't see him. He doesn't really over exaggerate price targets, so I wouldn't call him necessarily the pumper, but he's got so many uh, followers. So here I am say I say overreaction wouldn't be up this much if it wasn't mentioned by Candaman. It's it was five fifty five at the time it was five eighty because of the price lag, the time lag on here. So I started shorting at five sixty. And why I felt comfortable doing that is there was no real definite SEC filing news. But I knew he had posted this at four fifty six around there. And everyone was just chasing it pretty much. So it was a perfect example of an overreaction to I mean, at the time, he didn't say nothing crazy like this is going to 6 to 7. He just said an idea. He brought out a, a decent idea about an electrical vehicle sector and whatnot. So, and what might come. So, and then it ran, you know, that's 150. That's 33%. So, it's a big overreaction. So, it's also worth following the people with the that manage to move stocks on their posts even if they're not clearly or intentionally pumping it because you do not want to be the dude that buys at 592 here see he says ran to 592 and that was on low volume and after hours right so if you didn't it's also worth noting volume analysis but perfect example maybe they do have a catalyst but there's also another almost catalyst to the price action and it's Someone with 30,000 followers posting something on a re relatively small uh, market cap company in the big scheme of things. So that's pretty much all I want to go over. I hope that helps a lot of people. I mean, it's going to take a while to, uh, to figure it out. I didn't want to send... I noticed that a lot of people were been just... Follow me to actually ride the pumping dumps. I don't want to send a bunch of people into a death trap. So the whole point is when you, the minute you're in on one of these things, you got to get in early. You got to know how to follow the charts. I mean, you can't be chasing on up high, overextended stocks. And if you got to be on that, almost on that first candle or on the first pullback, you got to be ready to get out right away with a tight risk management. You got to always remember why this is up. You can't forget that and start falling in love with it even though sometimes that maybe news will come afterwards and it will keep going up event sometimes sometimes it will keep carrying up but 80 90 percent of these plays their force will go back down so it's an interesting strategy and i think a lot of people are pretty much it's like thousands and thousands of people already doing this it's just no one's clearly talking about it so it's funny And there's always new people evolving, like Spud Wee Boy. This guy's a new guy, and I noticed, you know, he pumped naked the other day from like the '80s to over three off of bullshit news. So it came right back. So you always, it's always gonna be revolving. And so whoever's the most aware on sites like this that will uh, have the benefit of the doubt. At the end of the day, I mean. That's what I think the site is best for is to follow and evolve, to either follow and ride the pump and dumps or to avoid them or for news, right? You want or to just to see what other people's ideas are. So when I see uh, like someone like Mr. Investor and I know what he's doing and I see all these people passionately arguing, me, I know it's just like a it's like a clusterfuck of dumb money, right? And you could uh, exploit those the sheep. Because they're going to follow, they're going to chase a stock that's 180 with no volume at two over $2 every time he posts. Even if there's no catalyst, right? And uh, on top of this, what really caught my eyes is even when uh, the market was crashing in the beginning of March. And there was no bottom in, they were still, a lot of these guys were still pumping these penny stocks exactly like they would be doing back in February or uh January when the market was raging So it's almost the reason they're doing this is the control they want they have the control over these small floats and these small cap stocks So the minute you're trading 
any uh, stock that's like that. It's worth uh, noting all these strategies. Or, and these are the ways they're doing these, these techniques. So that's it.